Got the mail. Me. Trench, no, the haze is bad. We've been invaded. Trench, Corrupted. no. I've lost Darling. He was the first to go. He's been exposed to Hedrin's resonance. It controls him now. It controls everyone who wears the amplifier device. I ordered them not to use the damn things. Monsters. I'll stop them. Although it would be amusing if I there was have a, a secret uh, ally. The nostalgia department. Nostalgia department. But I have my own slide for the projector. I took it. A memento. In ordinary. After the girl burned them. Thank you for all this information, it's Trench. Burnt, but it'll work. The hiss will save us all. I um lost my train of thought. I, I, um, it, it's confused. Like, uh, somebody you know, switching channels too fast. Uh, I, I, I see so much, but it's, it's, it's too fast. On the expedition through the slide, something got into my ear and it hurt at first. But then it didn't. It uh, started as a, a distant whisper, like something you hear in a, a dream, like a faraway voice calling you to wake up. I'd open my eyes with those, those words still on my lips. See, in the dream, they had made perfect sense, but awake, they're like a, like a foreign language, already forgotten. I can get you a form of all the words that you'd probably be saying because of the hiss incantation. Loss hits. Like losing a child. Like losing yourself. You see, I was being taught a song. A poem. A prayer. That would light up my world and, and make me break through. Make all this pain worth it. Something once lost was found, and it made a home in me. A spring with, like, waves carving me and making me see. And it grew until it filled me. And I receded deeper into myself, into this office. Locked in in this oldest house, which is my uh, aging body. I stared in awe through the people, and I was filled with knowledge and made better. You know, I uh, often feel like I'm <clears throat> being watched. Yeah, like there's someone watching me. They can see me, but I can't see them. I remember it was like, like this dream I had last night. See, there was a, there was this man mm -hmm, here in this very room. And then, well, sometimes he was a, a plumber unclogging the drain and well, because there was a fish stuck. A honey? Yeah, a big fish. But sometimes he was, he was an old god see and and he had put the fish there in in the uh, the first place to uh, well to, to, to keep the waste Th there was rising waste uh, from leaking out so he was um, 
Oh, he was, he was conflicted, but he, but, but he knew many things. But, but he was, a, he, he was also sort of senile, like me. It, it was more like a, it was like a, a riddle or, or, or an omen. It, it, it wasn't a very good one or, or an interesting one, but, but I, I get so confused so easily. I, um, it, it, it's it's so very hard to uh, to follow every everything that's happening. <sighs> he just keeps going on and on. Are you good, Trench? He's not good. He's he's not good. I'm in. I'm, I'm. So are we hearing echoes of Trench's actual thoughts now of what he was thinking before? I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. The hiss is the enemy, and Dylan is filled with the hiss. This is all inside my head. The hiss burrowing in. I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. Well, you know what? At least, uh... At least we get it now. We're not doing any of this. I'm just gonna take this form, and I'm gonna go to the director's office. Hill, you have anything to say? the plant got better. And... I don't know if I trust it. Hi, Dylan. So did Dylan psychically control... I Trench? Will fight this. To make him kill I himself? find a way to push them out. Or is he, are we just seeing Dylan because, well, that's just what Dylan does. <laughs> Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. <laughs> Thank you, Adi. Don't worry. We're... We're gonna get ourselves out of here. I need my gun. I'm gonna take the gun back. I guess I'm gonna have to shoot him. Must do. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. Yes. And I guess we'll have to talk to the board. Hey, we're back. What? This is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Hedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the end game. It will be revealed. Alright, go to Dr. Darling's office. He had something caught, like... You know, he had something sneaky planned. Good. Oh, are we still inside of our head? Shit. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through mirror, inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Yeah! Push your fingers just gonna go to Dr. Darling's office. Uh, don't need to be looking at myself being all crazified. Or else, maybe we will go crazy ourselves. The question is... I don't actually know where Dr. Darling's office is. I guess it's around here? Is this it? 
Huh. Rule three. Gotta get the fuck out of here. You're gone. Dead. I can't feel you. I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something. I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting everything. This is a dream inside my head. Why shouldn't it take me anywhere I want to go? Maybe, maybe it can. Maybe it can take us to... Huh. Round one constant they revolve. Jesse faded. Visit ordinary, where nothing ever is. The oldest house is a, it's a shifting place. Pyramid heaven hell. We have all these advertisements for, uh, that have been shifted around. Darling said. Hmm? Nothing happened. Darling said the Hedron wasn't the source, which is a catalyst. What did you mean by that? <laughs> really? Oh no. Oh my god, Dr. Darling. Wait. Okay, I don't know who that was. Because if it was trench dancing, that'd be fucking hilarious. But it, it, might, it might not have been. It's hard to get a good look on him. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Darling. I am Dynomite. Polaris, grow brighter. Well, not, not with Polaris gone. Alright, we got ourselves another key that I guess doesn't open up the Black Pyramid door. It opens up some other door. Maybe over there? Hello? Director Faden. Grow brighter. Around one constant, they revolve. Hedron is dead, but you're alive here. In me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there. And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the hiss. Slowly over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the hiss. Just like that. Ah, that hallway filled with supreme amounts of hiss. Hedron dead, the hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. Emergency broadcast. Listen, Director Weber, the hiss is here. Interior. Transmission's being corrupted slash rewired. Well, the board's corrupted. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm making my way over to the projector. But, uh, it's... It's gonna take me a second. My sister had this dream. Oh, jeez. A bad dream. And the whole world was dreaming with her. 
she convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down the poster she'd been staring at. Look, we had to get to the off her eyelids. Hold behind the poster. See. Okay, ill Dylan. No, we're turning this shit off. I know he's still there somewhere. Locked inside. I know because that's how it was for me. Ooh. Situation, small child, small child, small child. End game dictate special transmission at slash allocation. Director, prepare for power boost slash redirected feed. Every fur necessitates consumption. Power boost? And what kind of power boost we talking about, board? Holy shit, level 30. That's the highest we've seen these guys ever be. I don't think it matters. Hold up, need to swap over to shotgun mode. You know, I'm beginning to suspect that I probably was able to uh, upgrade my pierce for a long period of time, and I just didn't have the materials for it. I wonder what materials I was missing. You know, I feel like I have the power boost already. Things are dying pretty fucking fast. But I don't have infinite energy, which, you know, that would be the real power boost. Dylan, I'm coming over there. I'm gonna try and communicate to you in the language of Hedron slash Polaris. Or just bullets to your face, really. I mean, whatever gets us through this situation. Like we said earlier, whatever happens, happens. I don't need to possess anyone. I am my power. Oh boy. I made that jump a little bit early, but we're here. Oh, fuck. Uh, maybe I will seize control of some people. You know, just to get some bait for this distorted. There you go. died there with my superpowers. That would have been bad. Uh, hey, how you guys, how you guys doing? I might as well kill with the shield barrage while I remember. Alright. Can't dodge twice in a row. I mean, you probably could, but you didn't. Hold on, I have to recharge my bullets. All right, there you go. Guys, please. I have to go save my brother. And here you are, blocking me off, ruining everything. Truly, this is absurd. And I have to say, as your director, I'm very disappointed.
God, this place is so red. It's like I'm colorblind, but it's red and black instead. Are we good? Or are you gonna keep sending in more monsters, Hiss? There's a finite amount of bureau agents, buddy. Here we go. This looks like a direct path to the end. Dylan! Hey, bro! Are we gonna have a boss fight with Dylan? That's not gonna be pleasant. Dylan! I have to cleanse you of the hiss! Did I just enter Dylan's head? Dylan's in a coma. Oh, okay. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I like how she called it her manager I'm team. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You. And I. Alright. So, uh... I guess that's the proper end? We're gonna speed this up because you never know, there might be still be a little bit more. For all I know, that was just a dream! And the hiss has actually taken over everything. It's hard to tell, really, but... If this is the end, alright. Kind of a... More lackluster ending, I felt like it happened pretty fast there, I was expecting a little bit more to find out what happened to Dr. Darling, what exactly, or a general estimation of what Hedron was. But, and then like, the nostalgia department being revealed felt like it was very much kind of like a rush job. Like, oh, by the way, that red hallway you saw, like, in the first hour of the game. Yeah, that was the end part. Uh, and you just, you're just there now. It very much just kind of happened immediately. But... This has been, this has been a ride, I feel like we're under, or, okay. I think we're ending the credits already. Wow, ooh, look at this. You are the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. The crisis is not over. Your work is not done. And look at this. We have a new suit, and our hair is done up. And it's a pyramid. Cool. Also, uh... Shawshank Redemption. What the hell? That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important. But, that was it. Oh. Execute board countermeasures and bureau alerts to fight the ongoing hiss threat. Search the oldest house and hit to find secrets and stuff. We basically, we, it's basically a, you beat the game, player! Um... That's it! We, we don't really got anything else for you. Except for maybe some side tasks that we could potentially give you. I want to talk to... To Emily and Arish. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from the beyond. Does that mean Dr. Darling's fully dead? That'd be a shame. Look, let's listen to these these hotlines that we got before I uh I cut anything before we we, we start summarizing my thoughts on the game. What's up, Trench? My reflection trapped in the darkness of the coffee I nurse. The rain turned the lights of the city into a 
mosaic on the windows. The day's paper lists all the things wrong in the world. The list grows longer by the day. The difference between the morning and the night. Coffee. Whiskey. No other difference. The alarm goes off at 5 a.m. It feels like I just closed my eyes. It's dark. I sit up on the bed in the gloom. I get up, I shower. The driver waits for me downstairs, takes me to the oldest house. An old man stares at me in the car window. It's raining. It's dark. Late at night, he brings me back here. It's not a home. It's a room where I sleep in. Waking up just as tired as I was before going to bed. Endless grind. Huh. All right. I thought he was going to be talking about, like, our endless grind. But no, he's talking about his. Makes sense. Makes sense. And it's going to be our endless grind as the director. What's going on board? What are you going to tell me about the future? The hiss is removed slash silent from the astral plane. You have proven slash beaten the not you. We like slash tolerate you very much. You are prepared slash unprepared for what comes next. We will speak again in the future slash expansion. Good work slash victory, director. <laughs> I like the board's constant fourth wall breaking of the implication of the game. <laughs> I have to wonder if they actually will expand on this, because one thing with Remedy is they have three IPs that have all been left with a potential of more. Okay, Alan Wake, Quantum Break, Control, Ache, <laughs> maybe even other stuff that I, I just don't, I don't remember right now, but yeah, I want my Alan Wake too, I want my... My everything. Do I have any other missions right now? No missions. At all. Well, this has been a pretty fun experience. I feel like there's a lot left unanswered, but to be fair, that's kind of, I guess, always going to be the nature of this game. Launch efficiency 5. Me. I need to go talk with, uh... With Pope. Do I have- I, I have one ability left to get! No! I just want to see if Pope will have anything to say. She'll probably have a few things, because, I mean, we beat the hiss! And there's a lot to go on. We got it. We got Underhill, Arish, and Emily Pope to talk to. Langston as well. And then we never found out what happened to Marshall. Ways, then which is the object of power, the slide or the slide projector? Or is the distinction itself a fallacy? See, so many questions left unanswered. Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... Really? Yep, I'm the director. I mean, yes, so yes, you can I do can that. certainly... Yes. <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. <laughs> I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. Good. All right. Emily gets her promotion. Marshall continues to just be fucking gone. Audie's probably just around. Ooh. I want to just keep on, like, looking at stuff. Variants and alterations. His corruption manifests in vastly different ways. Some hosts remain largely unchanged, while others are barely recognizable as human. What determines this level of alteration? Is it the duration of corruption? 
It could simply be an evolutionary process, each entity representing a stage of growth in an undiscovered linear progression heading leading towards what? Additionally, his entities possess various paranatural abilities. How have they achieved this? Do they gain them from corrupting objects of power? Have they corrupted a single highly talented para-utilitarian and divided their access to paranatural abilities across the network of his corrupted hosts? As a scientist, I am hindered by the sheer number of questions. It's difficult to identify where one should begin. What is the most pertinent question? How do we kill it? That seems like a good start. Thank you for being on that side of the fence, Emily. I do definitely want to get rid of it entirely. I've looked through the docs we found in Dimensional Research. That slide projector is extremely powerful. You were right to shut it down. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't give a full explanation of my thoughts until you've seen all of these. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. That's what we hope, but uh, you never know. We'll see what happens. Some kind of crazy crisis might end up happening that makes us work exactly like them. There's just so much power in this, you know? When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Well, empirically, no, but phantom voices as well as hallucinatory states are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. And the fact that he hid those forces from me? It's infuriating. <laughs> but Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm going to consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. You continue to show that, yeah, you still have a solid head on you. Even if you might be a little mad scientist waiting to happen. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. Well, we That's have our, fair. Our job as a director is to keep us busy. He waited a long time for me. And, yeah, 17 but years. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring him around the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. I hope so too, Jesse. I want to see about uh, any uh, sequels. So, there was a moment after Hedron died, that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. Oh. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards, and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay. Which I'm guessing must be... Us. Me. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, 
the power you call Polaris is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of this. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Yeah, I guess. I'm just glad you're here with me. That's good to know. Thanks, Emily. I'm fine not knowing all the answers as long as it's been like, that was it. We're not giving you any more. That's absolutely all right. Gotcha. But when there's a chance like, well, maybe if someone had asked the right question, we could have gotten the information. That's that's what lingers with me. That's when I'm like, I, please? More? Are you going to give me like 50 more options to ask about absolutely everything? Okay, we can't do that. That's not reasonable. All right, all right, fine. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power, which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Maybe it is. Yes, head researcher. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. I'm glad that, uh... Please, Emily. <laughs> Not even as a joke. <laughs> Could survivors be hiding inside? It's possible. I remember a report about a similar incident from 84. The Bureau lost contact with a whole department during a house shift. The department head was found in the motel two years later. His arm stuck in the vending machine. Make a note to send in a search party when possible. I missed the first part of that, damn it. Who moved my way through? Uh, Darling asked for any visual materials to be stowed for future instructional videos. He asked for anything that looks particularly good in a backdrop. Nah. Inform all research staff that any instructional videos are postponed indefinitely. And don't ever touch my work again. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't want to do instructional videos? Those instructional videos help me a lot. Can you fucking s stop? I found a couple of relevant files in Dr. Darling's office. I'd have to dig through the archives for the rest, but I'm not going through the Panopticon. Not with the altered items loose. Then go see if any Ranger squads are available for a file retrieval mission. Every time I leave, she starts up a conversation. Ugh. Alright, there's still everybody else to talk to. So hey, hey Arish. No the None. Looks like it got shifted. We have Rangers checking each sector. Fuck, whose side is the house? I heard you closed the Hiss portal, or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. Now if we could just flush out the stragglers. Look at all of this! So, what's next for Simon Arish? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire bureau. No, fuck it. The entire fucking world without some serious oversight. I can agree with I that. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. And hey, you never know. This might help people out with things that aren't the Hiss, but would still try to corrupt them through whatever sound resonance bullshit's going on. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but well, you pulled us back from the brink, so. Well, I'm honored to serve, ma'am. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Faden. Sorry. He'll get it one day. <laughs> also, I mean, we kind of more officially accepted our role as director, so I think we have to kind of occasionally, we have to accept the slip-ups. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in Hiss. Not to mention the months of repairs it's gonna take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting Hiss. Alright. What are we gonna tell the government? Does the government typically know about what we do as the Federal Bureau of Control? We have 
we're an official, unofficial kind of agency, you know? So, someone's gotta talk with them and be like, hey, so, uh... We're gonna need a bigger budget for 2020. Uh... And maybe the rest of 2019, too? Can, can we work that out? I think we should. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but, um... I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but well, some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. But thank Christ for that. Yeah, I wonder how much better off the Federal Bureau of Control would have been had Darling just told everybody what was going on. He could have even, like, like people clearly ended up using the HRAs, HRAs even after Trench was like, no. So he could have just been like, yeah, so there's like this, this force that could literally take over everything if we don't wear that. And people would have believed him, because why wouldn't they? Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but she said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? But, uh, she was by herself, if that helps at all. Not really, but thanks. Hopefully she turns up. Yeah, I'm gonna accept that as a, we probably won't find her, even if we try to search around maintenance. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Any luck finding the armory? None. Looks like it got shifted. We have rangers checking. All right. So that's Reesh. Director that's Fane did a fine Pope. job handling this, especially considering how new she is. Yes, please continue to compliment suppose, me. But what? the hiss are still all over the bureau. When is she going to get them out? I'm sure she's working on it. Uh, it wouldn't yeah. kill you to admit she's doing a good job. Yeah, Agent One. We might have to have a stern conversation after all of this. Hey. A file. Technological restrictions. The Otis House imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The Otis House does not allow a device that receive or emit any si blank signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the Otis House, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural blank for the Otis House to blank them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at a fa a too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the Otis House. Jesus. Yeah, it would have been nice to have read that earlier. There you go, have some very ominous music. When do you think Marshall's coming back? It's not like her to be absent during a crisis. Marshall's as tough as they come. You don't need to worry about her. I hope you're right. Dylan! I'll be here waiting for you when you wake up, brother. Dylan! <laughs> you wake up. The music stopped. That was weird. I think that was just the ominous music from the other radio. Maybe. Okay. So, nah, I don't really care about talking uh, to Lex. So, uh, let me, let's actually talk and summarize some thoughts. First, let me look at my outfits. We have janitor's assistant, which I never, oh my god, it's a legit janitor outfit. Yeah, I don't think so. Office assistant, director's suit. Or just keeping the director's suit where we're doing things officially around here. And I'm moving away from all the people who are just going to keep on chatting and chatting. But, um, yeah. This has been Control. This has been a pretty fun experience. I was going to go fast travel to Panopticon, but then I realized we were just There's going no to end up encountering Langston. And then I'd want to sit there and talk to him, which I still kind of want to do. But, God, I want to summarize my thought because I think we're done with the story. And it doesn't seem like we're getting any... Any side missions? Emily would have had one. Arish, I'm okay with him not having any, but Emily should have had one. Something to be like, hey, go do this over here, and I would have been like, yeah, sure. 
Anyways, I'm going back to Panopticon because maybe Langston does have a mission for me to deal with the altered items. But this has been pretty cool. This especially kind of came out of generally nowhere for such a in-depth game. Pure natural power contained in one place is a risk. And what are we going to do about wonder it? What other dangers are locked away inside the bureau? Yeah, no, I mean, there can be literally anything. That's one great thing about this kind of setup for a story. Remedy has done something really great here because they've taken what they've already established. They had their Alan Wake world. They had their Quantum Break world. I don't know if Quantum Break is tied to this. I didn't really find anything that made me think of Quantum Break. If there had been any specific name references, I did not. I didn't catch it. Um, but at the very least, you have the Alan Wake world. More than likely, Quantum Break is tied to it. And so by establishing control, establishing a universe, a lore that has something like the Federal Bureau of Control and just having a world that can basically have anything fucking happen in it, from like zombie mold monsters to uh, people taken over by by potentially malicious sound uh, to just anything on like any crazy thing can literally happen in the control universe and just be summarized as an altered item, an object of power, an AWE. That's awesome. I love shit like that. I really, really do. And so this had me pretty excited. The only thing I say I'm really kind of disappointed by is just the depth in which that actually got fleshed out. A lot of it got fleshed out, but we got so focused on this whole his storyline and the Polaris shit and Dylan, and those didn't even end up getting, like, resolved in any satisfying way. There were so many more interesting things going on inside the Bureau or being, like, hinted at inside the Bureau that I would have much rather have focused on. So I'm glad that we got this stuff out of the way so a uh, future control or anything taking place in this universe can actually touch on those. Like, I want to find out what the fuck the board is, what the former is. Uh, I want to see much cooler shit. Again, when I'm thinking of, of, of a universe like this, this makes me think of something like SCP. And when you start thinking of something like SCP, there are a lot of, like, scary, random creepypastas written by people uh, that... They, you can have, like, any kind of fucking monster or, like, freaky, horrific shit happening. And not just have it hinted at inside of documents, but have it like happen in front of the player. And that's what I was kind of hoping to have when I read the description of the game. I was like, oh, shit's happening in here, and we're the agent, or now we're the new director? That sounds kind of cool. And then we just kind of ran around and shot a bunch of monsters. And the gameplay segments were okay, they were serviceable, but again, with the mods and stuff, we weren't able to flesh them out as far as I would have liked. And we hit level 5, like the absolute level, pretty quickly too, so... Uh, is there any multimedia... ...that we missed out on? Used to play there all the time. I don't think so. Uh, Darling Presentation, Dynamite, <laughs> we really saw that one. We saw spare footage beforehand. Darn... Wait, multimedia, you and your special friend? Nope, that was the one we saw already for Threshold Kids. But, uh, yeah, okay, the object is a blank with a vertical tray, the object creates blank. See Dr. Darling Presentation 26.1 for more details. The only blank to successfully produce this effect results resulted in the capture of blank. Object has not been successfully bound. The pair utilitary, uh, utility of this object does not require bounding. I would have liked to maybe bind it to us, that would have... Then we could create worlds, or access worlds, with our mind. Discovered when the Bureau responded to blank, see AWE 24, case file for more information. Many of the accompanying blank were blank. See files on P6 for P7 for details. The entirety of the blank was transported to the Bureau for examination to find additional blank or other altered materials. Oh, see the other kids. I, I, I was actually, one thing I was sad about was not act, being able to access the slide projector worlds. I would have loved to have seen Dog Neil or the Dung Monkeys or whatever. Just to, again, I just did really find out more and more and just see some of the crazier shit that could have happened. Oh, Honey's cabin, the little picture. Lomio lumps, holiday humps, the sauna is warm, the beer is cold, and the kasu is in ice. Adi, I doubt he's back. He's probably continuing his vacation. Oh, now the trench is gone. Rest his soul. I really need to dig up my old proposal on better containment practices. More ritual worship iconography, the whole shebang. We'll take some of that in consideration, Langston. Hello, ma'am. I heard about your little tussle over in Nostalgia. So, uh, 
good house cleaning and things will get back to normal, right? Right? I mean, our normal, anyway. Uh, let me know about stuff, man. Can I get a situation report for the sector? Whew, okay, uh, we still have to perform a proper inventory of the cells. Lord knows how many altered items snuck out during all this. Staffing. We definitely lost some people. Uh, gonna have to hit those college career fairs, am I right? Huh. Hard to imagine the FPC at job fairs. <laughs> the hiss are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the containment sector is stable-ish. Considering the alternative, I'm happy with stable-ish. Any thoughts on me serving as director? I know it was a sudden change. Oh, uh, no complaints so far. Trench was all secrets, lots of meetings behind closed doors. You seem much more approachable. But if I can give you some advice, ma'am, keep a grip on who you are. I've been here a long time, and I don't know if it's the job or this place, but people change here, and not for the better. I'll try to keep my head on straight. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, hell, we've already probably shifted quite a little, little bit as a person as we've gone through this place anyway, so, whew. We have to tackle things as they come, especially whenever Marshall brings whatever shitstorm she's probably gonna end up running into. Will you stay on after things calm down, Langston? Are you asking if I'm quitting? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not having some mid-level agent make a mess of my panopticon. Plus, I'm racking up serious overtime hours with this lockdown. Just don't take too long clearing out the hiss. My cat gets separation anxiety. Se I'll do separation what I can. Anxiety. He must have gotten a pet sitter. I hope he did. He never knows how long he's going to end up staying in here. Yeah. I'll be here. Like always. Okay. Well, I think that's generally about it. This is a fun game. If I had to give it a rating, I honestly, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. It has me excited for, for potential with Remedy. You know, there's so many things they could do. They could go and explore a combination of Alan Wake and Control. They could just go back to Alan Wake. They could do more of Quantum Break, which did leave off on a cliffhanger. Uh, and I liked, I, I, I like Quantum Break, even if it was told in a kind of odd fashion as they try to do stuff with their live action attempts at like TV show mixed with game, which was there, <laughs> you know, if people enjoyed it as they, as they would or could, but yeah, there's no other side mission in the game. Maybe there'll be some DLCs that show up down the line. If so, maybe I'll end up playing them. But for now, this has been Control and hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I will see you guys later.